In this video, I use only two AI-generated images. You can use any of the free AI tools like Bing Image Creator and others to create your own. I will do a background removal of the man using the tool inside CS3. For the object removal, I use free Microsoft app, Paint 3D. There are only three image layers. Start with the bottom, no background yellow car race. Video is around 16 seconds only. Next level up is the full yellow car race track and lastly the man profile shot on the last level up. Just overlaps accordingly as we go along in the editing. Now we do the animation to the first image. Go to Motion, click on IN and select Scale Up. For the next layer, we use the Transition tool. Click on the green overlap between the two layers and select the transition luma reveal. Do this likewise for the next level transition of the third image. This one we will use the fade transition. Go ahead and try other types of transitions suitable for your project. Next is to put in the fire effects. Go to studio tab on the left top, scroll down and select visual effects. Find the type of fire that best suits you. is Friar 19. Make sure this fire effect is in between layer 1 and 2. Adjust accordingly. Okay, we are now ready to do some camera zooming. Go to the Effects and tab, select Components, look for Camera Tool. Drag it into the timeline. You see the camera icon on the top of the timeline. Double click on the area, place this just after layer 2 transition. Now do the second camera move to zoom out. In the first zoom, adjust the camera to zoom into the head profile shot. The next is to zoom out. Note the cursor before and after the camera setting, adjust this to ensure that we have adequate timing for the title text to appear after the layer transition. This camera tool needs a bit of practice to get it right. Now we add the title text drift. Make the text bigger, but make sure it fits into the camera move. Adjust accordingly. Animate the text the way you want it to appear. Here I use fade on individual letters randomly. Add that to the title, but just until you get it the way you want it.
Duplicate the text. Ease is to be used for the last text coming soon. Animate the text. Finally, we select the music track. Go to the music tab, select cinematic music. This video I use the soundtrack Earthquake. You may also edit and select the parts of the music you find suitable.